Hey folks, welcome to our musky segment fishing with my good friend Spence Petros. We're fishing an August, classic August warm front in, in Canada. And uh, you know, lately when you're fishing in Canada, on most lakes in Canada, the main the main gun, the main guys running the big tens. Yep, the big blades. Yeah, and, and what we're gonna talk about today is 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 what do you fish alongside it? Do you fish another big ten? Do you fish a top raider? Uh, but when when the wind is rough and, and fish aren't on the top, what's another good bait to fish behind that bait? Minnow baits. Minnow baits, yeah. <laughs> and you know, most guys are fishing the you know the bigger straight model baits and, and work them like a jerk right. bait. But I argue that there's a lot of times when this this bait this bait is the most overlooked bait in my in, in our product line, you know. And you and I have had success fishing this behind this bait. Absolutely. And a lot of times they pass this bait up or they follow this bait and they and they hit this or they don't even follow. They, they this is the only bait they'll come on. Well, they'll come on and we know they're there. Yeah. And we can go back and get them later with that or something else. Right. So right. it's a good fish finder too. Yes. But it is a good fish catcher as a good complement to that bait. Right. Now the two different types, the jointed, you do a lot with the purr, but the other one you do a little more jerking. But you know, by throwing that slack in there is real important if you're doing the jerking. Every time you jerk, throw a little slack, and you get a lot more side-to-side -side movement with those minnow baits. So two similar bait, jointed, not jointed, different ways of fishing them that make them even more productive. There you go. And I think one last thing about this bait, uh, over the, the, the flat-sided baits, uh, the straight models, is this bait casts better and is more accurate. You know, we found that too. Yeah, sometimes you get a little of a glide. Yeah, the flat, the flat baits you cast them, and they go, and they get a little, like a mind of their own when they catch a little wind. Where these ones, as soon as you put the joint in them, they cast a lot more action. All right, there he is. It's a good one. Right on the end. On the purr. On the upwind Right side. on the pull on the purr. Purr on the purr. Purr dingle. What a deep fighter. What a deep fighter. The old jointed shallow raider and perch. What a beautiful fighting fish. Yeah. It's time to spin him this way. Let me get I will do that, buddy. You ready? I'm ready. Here it comes. Oh, he's hooked well. Okay. The purr. <laughs> the old jointed shallow raider. We've been messing with minnow baits for a number of days, trying to find the combination that would finally trigger these fish. And is, is it the day, or is it finally I found a bait that works? Well, you know, when we were using them before, they were fish were following them, but yeah. they weren't following anything else. No, they weren't following so anything once, else. Once you know the fish were a little active, we already caught a few this morning. Yeah. Then you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But at least we, you know, we we got we caught a fish in something other than a spinner and a topwater lure. God, I'm sick of using them. Uh, yeah, got so many fish geez, out them. you don't yes. want to take them off. Yeah, it's like yeah. you know, when are you going to get rid of that old reject top reader that that guy sent top back? Reader, the magnum tinsel, yeah. fish after fish after fish. You got something new for it. Yeah, you got to just try oh, something. Right. Just gonna slide the net over. Oops. Come right over like here, and we'll just real quick pose here. And let's get him back in the water. But that jointed shallow reader is a real good compliment bait. There we go. Real good bait. There we go. And away he goes. 